Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing a writing tag. Um, I was tagged by author April, I'll leave all her details down below. This tag was originally created by the authors Kim Chance and Mandy Lynn so I will leave their channels below as well if you want to go and check out their tag. Um, and I tag anybody who wants to do it. So we'll just go ahead and get started. So the first question is when do you write? Well, I don't really have a set time because of having kids. Um, it's quite hard to set a specific time. I usually write if they're with their dad or they're in school. But obviously at the moment it's the summer holidays. So they are here a lot more and they don't have a set time to go and see their dad in the holidays. They see him a lot but uh, it's never a set day or time. Um, usually I'll try and write when they're in bed so after 8 o'clock and that suits me better because I'm a night owl anyway um, but I don't have any anything set because I just can't set a time uh, down when they're in school I try and write but I am a full-time student as well so um, I've got that work to do and I've got uni to go to I'm also 37 weeks pregnant today so I'm gonna have a little baby here soon I'm actually being induced next week so uh, the baby will be here probably by next weekend so that's gonna put a bit of a spanner in the works as well to when I can write because obviously for the first few weeks I'm probably not going to be able to write anything because I will be getting adjusted to having a new baby again uh, getting into a routine and then I'll be starting back at uni at the end of September so really the answer is I just try and fit it as and when Usually it's in the evenings uh, once the kids have gone to bed. Question two, how do you seclude yourself from the outside world? I wouldn't say that I totally seclude myself. I still keep my phone with me. Um, I know maybe I shouldn't, but I use it to uh, watch programs while I'm writing because I can't have silence. I don't really write very well to music, but having something in the background like a TV show, usually one I've watched before so I already know what's going to happen so it's not too distracting um, and, but that means I've obviously got my phone with me so I try and turn off the notifications but if someone's going to text me or ring me then I, that will get then I will get distracted um, but most of the time it's pretty quiet around here when the kids aren't here anyway so uh, the only thing to distract me would be somebody ringing or texting me. Question three, how do you review what you wrote the day before? Um, I don't usually. I might read the last sentence, but I don't go over everything um, because I will get too tied up in noticing anything that's not quite right, typos, things like that, and I'll spend more time correcting them than I will carrying on writing. So I try to just go on to the next bit and it, it's easier with non-fiction because I can jump to another another bit of the book. Um, if I was writing fiction I'd probably have to read a bit more about what I'd written the night before but with a non-fiction I can just jump straight in into another bit without having to read what I've written before and usually before I finish writing I make sure that I've come to some sort of solid end to what I was writing rather than leaving it and having to carry on the next day um, so I don't have to reread it then. Question four, what song do you listen to when you're uninspired? Um, again I don't really listen to songs, sometimes I will listen to Spotify, um, it depends on my mood but songs aren't really anything that gets me in, in the mood. Uh, if I'm uninspired it's more watching TV uh, or watching programs on my phone uh, that will get me inspired and if I've written a big chunk of writing uh, while watching a series I will put that back on again because it reminds me of everything I've written and what I wanted to write so so far with my write through depression book I've been watching Only Fools and Horses on Netflix um, so I put that on when I'm writing this book. I am writing another book as well which is um, due to be handed in soon and for that I mostly watched Oranges of the New Black so I would go back and put that on again if I was feeling uninspired. Um, 
rather than starting something new. Question five, what do you always do when you find yourself struggling with writer's block? Uh, read. Usually I will read and being a non-fiction writer I usually read self-help books. Um, I'll watch YouTube videos um, of writers. People like Kim Chance, uh, Kristen Martin, uh, they just get me inspired again. Um, I wouldn't say I ever get writer's block. I think I get confidence block maybe, but not writer's block because there's always something to you can write about. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be about your book. You could be writing in a journal or something like that to get you started, but I think it's more of a confidence crisis than it is writer's block. don't know if anybody else feels the same about that. Question six, what tools do you use when writing? Well, I've got a MacBook Pro, so I write on that. I use Scrivener. Uh, I'm still getting used to all the bells and whistles on that as well, um, but I think it's much easier than Word because you don't have to be, you don't have to scroll all the time. You just click the button and you're on to the next chapter and you can go from here, there, work on whichever chapter you want to work on, move it around easily. Uh, I think if I used Word it would take me too long. Uh, what else do I use? That's it really. Um, if I'm out and about and I haven't got my laptop and I need to make notes, um, sometimes it's easier to just do it on my phone. So I use Evernote, um, but I don't use it very often. And some, most of the time I've got a pen and a little notebook in my bag anyway, so I'll write down ideas in there. Or I'll just write a text and text it to my boyfriend. Um, or email myself something along those lines but the main ones are obviously my laptop and Scrivener. Question seven, what can't you live without um, during a writing session? I th I've kind of covered this really, um, I need obviously my laptop and Scrivener, uh, and my phone or some sort of device to be able to watch uh, a program on um, and that's it really, I'm pretty pretty basic stuff really. <laughs> uh, question 8 How do you fuel yourself during a writing session? Uh, I'll usually have a drink or well a couple of drinks um, usually tea um, or a cold drink, orange juice or Pepsi I'm trying to cut down on the Pepsi but it's not really happening um, um, regards to food um, I usually will snack on crisps or uh, sweets. I like sherbet lemons. Um, I like saurine as well. It's like a malt loaf if I'm getting really hungry. Or I'll just have some cereal. Um, it's never the same thing. It's always something different every time. Usually the drinks are the same, but the food and snacks will be different. And question nine. I'm not sure if I missed one when I was writing it down whether there was 10 questions but I'm just going to go to question 9 anyway uh, how do you know when you finish writing uh, I'll get distracted I'll start thinking about something else um, I'll start doing something else um, I'll start looking at social media or I'll just come to the end of um, what I wanted to write and then th get tired um, at the moment I get tired a lot and sitting down for long periods to write um, is really uncomfortable being uh, this pregnant now. Um, I've been sat here for about 20 minutes to do this video and my back's hurting already and I'm sitting in a comfortable chair with a pillow behind me. So usually it'll either be I'll get distracted and go on social media or I'll start doing something else or um, I'll get uncomfortable. Uh, so I will stop. Um, it doesn't mean that I will stop for ages. Sometimes I'll just go and have a break and then come back. But most of the time, if I get up and go away from the laptop, then I won't be going back. So that's the end of the questions. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you do the tag, then let me know or uh, tell me on Twitter. You can follow me at Natalie Roberts one or on Instagram, uh, Natalie Roberts Writer. And thanks again to April for tagging me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.